He'd maintained that he did not build several houses during his tenure as Minister of Finance. Now, a court has ruled in favor of political leader of the National Democratic Congress, or NDC, Nazim Burke. In July in 2013, Burke, through the law office of Alban John, demanded an apology and compensation for defamation from Ian Edwards of Tivoli St. Andrew, who had made the claims on a local talk show, Hard Talk. GBN spoke with Burke about the judgment, and he says he's relieved. Uh, the, the reality is that uh, we, we trust that this decision would serve as a lesson to all media workers, uh, to, 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 to radio talk show hosts, who decide quite recklessly and without regard for the, the circumstances of others, to make reckless statements, to publish statements that target and assassinate the character of others without regard for um, you know, their circumstances. Burke says the judgment must send a clear message to all that the allegations made during the campaign against him were false and targeted to hurt his reputation. The judge awarded the defendant to pay Mr. Burke's costs of the application. We are, we are going to be doing a, a, a conference tomorrow on this matter, so I, I, I would not be long. Uh, but let me just say that uh, damages are to be assessed. So at this particular point, the judgment has been handed in my favor. Uh, the quantum of damages, how much money is going to be uh, awarded, is yet to be determined. So uh, an application would have to be made by my lawyers for an assessment of the damages caused as a result of this, uh, this um, slanderous uh, and, uh, state, defamatory state. Edwards, a bishop of a Baptist church, was co-host on the Hard Talk radio program when the allegation was made. He was represented by attorney at law, Vanessa Francis Banfield. Efforts to reach Edwards for a comment on the judgment proved futile. Based on the judgment, the primary basis for the ruling was a lack of timeliness in which the defendant responded to the application. The judgment was handed down by High Court Judge Margaret Mohammed. Tony Julian, GBN News.